Okay, sound is on, so let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me, and I will get started. There we go. Thank you, Crafty. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We have a, well, it's not too bad out there. It's a little windy, but not bad. Uh, we have Mudfest going on in the driveway, so I'm not sure whether I'll be walking dogs out there today or working with them in, uh, nine and ten again um, so anyways what I'm doing in nine and ten uh, I was asked to uh, see if I can get them to lay down and stay on the coranda so uh, one by one I've been taking them in there and I think the only one I haven't gotten in there was Poppins yet which I need to do um, so I bring them in there, and the main thing I want to focus on is uh, using the place command, and you just point to where you want them to, to lay down, uh, say place, it was usually the coranda, but it could be the floor, it could be a fluffy on the floor, wherever. Uh, you get them to, to go on there, and I try to get them to lay down. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they just lay down on their own, which is fabulous. Um, then I, I tell them to stay, because they got to stay there. Once they're on there, they have to stay there. I walk around. I, I give them a, a short uh, version the first time. And then I have them come to me. I give them praise for actually staying there on the bed. Um, and then I probably do that like three times. The second time is a little bit longer. Um, and then I have them, when they get off the second time, I might have them play with the ball, chase it around a little bit. But then I, you know, I stop that and I have them go on, on the coranda once more. Um, and then I actually take the ball and I've been rolling it right by the coranda, telling them to leave it. Um, which they've been doing great with. I'm, I'm very surprised at some of them, uh, like Bert and Banks. Um, I thought for sure they were going to just jump off and go chase the ball, but they didn't. So that, that's really good. Um, so we're just getting them used to being in one spot, laying down, having to stay there for a little bit, because when they're with their person, when they go out to eat or wherever, they're either laying under the table 
or if they're sitting down someplace, they're laying at their feet, and the dog has to stay. Yeah, you know, the dog can't just get up and go wherever he wants. He's got to stay with his person. So this is what that is preparing them for. Um, I've been also doing a little uh, backing up with them while I'm in there, uh, especially some of them that aren't focused. I think it was uh, Dawes that was having a little bit of an issue with the placing on the, the Karanda. So I decided with him to do a little bit of, uh, you know, walking in there with the leash and just making him back up and just step woes, just trying to give him a little more focused on me. And uh, after that, he did a little bit better. He did get on the Karanda, so that was good. Um, let's see, what else? Alfred, yeah, Alfred was really funny. He, um, when I first brought him in there, he was just like all over the place. He couldn't focus one bit. I saw him go to the doggy doors a couple times and push with his nose. And uh, I was like, hmm, I wonder if he needs to go out. And then he went over to the door and pushed, like nudged the leash a couple times. And I was like, okay. So I took him out. Uh, in the yard here, and sure enough, he uh, he had to go potty, which uh, which was awesome. So we did that. And once we got him back in, he was a little more focused. He uh, he, I got him down on the caranda, and he ignored the ball, which was good. And uh, yeah, so I was I was happy with that. After I always try, it even if they're not focused, I always try to work with them to get them at least on the Karanda once, if not multiple times. But I would not leave that room without them doing uh, what I would like them to do. Uh, so, yeah, it can be very, uh, I don't know, what do I want to say, tedious, but uh, you know, in the long run it's worth it. I mean, a lot of these pups are doing very well. I'm, I'm very happy with their progress so far, and uh, yeah, I hope they, uh, they just keep going on the track. Saturday, it was nice out, so I did some uh, walking with them here, just moving around a little bit in the tea tent, and uh, they, they did great. Um, I can see a huge, huge difference in their walking. They are staying right with me. They're not pulling. They're uh, if I tell them whoa, they just stop right away. Uh, yeah, they're they're uh, the past couple weeks they've really turned the corner. And uh, like I think I said before, I I think I'm improving too on what I'm doing. So I think with both of us, the dogs and myself improving, it's just uh, making things a lot easier. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very good. So, trying to think if there's anything else that I have for you. Um, I don't think there is. I think that's about it. But, um, so, you know, I'll, I'll be here doing some training. I'm, like I said, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be a 9 and 10 today or walking them outside. It's a little bit muddy, but you know what? They they don't mind the mud, they don't mind the puddles, so, uh, you know, if I can get them out there a little bit for a stretch, that's good. Um, and just get them focused on, you know, walking the way they're supposed to. Uh, that that's, uh, that's ideal. So anyways, thank you for tuning in today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with uh, Jiving with Jamie. Have a good day. Thank you, everybody.